sports stuff we are doing. We are doing, we are doing, we are doing some NFL predictions for this coming uh, playoff season. Uh, we got the playoffs coming up. Uh, the last games of the regular season finished. What's today? Tuesday, so two days ago. Um, and we are going to be predicting the, uh, the, yeah, the playoff games that are coming up. Um, <clears throat> I am a Seattle Seahawks fan, so there will be a bit of bias there, I am sure. Um, I just wanted to go in saying that before I get any, <clears throat> any call out for any sort of biases or biases um and yeah if you do like this video don't forget to hit that like button if you guys do want to see more content like this don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to comment down below if you don't want to see a part two uh throughout the playoffs or anything like that don't forget to comment down below and finally don't forget to subscribe we're on our way to to her 1250 subscribers Alrighty. so i was going through some simulations earlier but we can back it up here so, at the end of uh, week, at the end of week 17, the games ended Baltimore over Cincinnati. That was an absolute blowout. Um, I did kind of see that going in. Lamar has been getting quite hot for the Ravens, um, but still impressive 38-3 win. You don't typically see those um the last one I can remember that was like that was Seattle against the Jets, and I think that was 40 to 3 or something like that. Next, we had Buffalo beating Miami by I think about 30 points or so. Uh, pretty rough for the um, for the Dolphins. Um, it is what it is. It, it was going to be a hard game for them to win anyways because Buffalo were playing their starters. Uh, so that they could clinch that second seed, I believe. Um, so yeah, tough game. Tough for two in Miami, but um, they have a good draft pick. I think I think they have the third pick in the draft, so they should be better next season. Next, we have the victory of the Cleveland Browns over the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, I can't say this one surprised me a lot. Um, yeah, it didn't, uh, I just realized my ad block is off, so that's why all these ads are coming up. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, uh, they barely beat a not full, like, not starters, uh, Steelers team, so yeah. Oh, we had the Chargers beating the Chiefs. Again, Chiefs weren't even playing, uh, their main players, so it doesn't really tell us much. Uh, we had... Uh, the Colts over the Jags. Um, that was kind of surprising. I didn't think the Colts would make their life that difficult. Um, or, I guess, you know, make things difficult for themselves. I don't know, Phillip Rivers didn't look that great uh, in that game, but it is what it is. Next, we have New England beating the Jets. Uh, I don't really have much to say about that game. Tennessee against Houston. That game was crazy. Um... Tennessee clinches it just barely with a, with a big help from Derrick Henry as usual. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It, it worries me a little bit for Tennessee's playoff. Uh, just their playoff run. Uh, that defense is not looking too great, especially the secondary. So We had Vegas uh, against the uh, Broncos, which was a crazy game. Came down to the last minutes. Um, and Vegas pulled it off, so good. I, I, I picked them in my Pick'em League, so I was happy with that. As for the NFC, we had Green Bay beating Chicago. Pretty expected, but Chicago kept it fairly close. Uh, most of the game, at least. We had Tampa Bay over the Falcons. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty expected there. Um, the Falcons have potential, but they just never seem to go into that potential. Uh, we had Washington over the Eagles. The Eagles looked great until they took Jalen Hurts out for whatever reason. Um, so, yeah, gave Washington the uh, fourth seed and the leader of the NFC East. Uh, the Giants beat the Cowboys, which was a little surprising. The Cowboys did not play well. Um, but it's a 
didn't really matter because Washington's the only team going to the playoffs from the NFC East. So we had Minnesota, Detroit, a pretty good game, very high scoring, um, but no playoff implications there. We had uh, the Saints beat the Panthers. Um, not very exciting. There were playoff implications, so that way the Saints could clinch the second seed, but not a very exciting game. We had Seattle beating the 49ers. Uh, Seattle's offense looked pretty non-existent for the entire game. Um, you know, just with field goals, and then eventually when the fourth quarter came, uh, the touchdown started to roll in. So yeah, and finally we had the Rams and the backup quarterback John Wolford defeat the Arizona Cardinals. Um, I can't say I expected it. I did think Arizona would win the game. Um, purely because of just the quarterback situation, but Kyler was not looking like full Kyler Murray in that game at all. Um, so yeah, let's go on to playoffs. So, we'll start in the AFC. The first matchup, in my opinion, the best matchup for the entire playoffs is Baltimore versus Tennessee fifth seed versus fourth seed, it will be in Tennessee. And this one's very hard to pick. Um, you're essentially picking Lamar Jackson versus Derrick Henry here. Um, do I think Derrick Henry, Derrick Henry will run on the Ravens? Uh, 100%. Uh, I have no doubt he will be able to pretty much run on any, uh, any defense in the NFL. But... Do I think Lamar may be more successful against the Titans defense than he is against an average defense? Yes, that Titans defense is looking pretty bad, probably the worst defense in the playoffs. Um, obviously, towards the beginning of the year, that Seattle defense was atrocious, but in the past few weeks, it has kind of stepped up to the plate. Um, but yeah, I mean, even in that uh, Texans game, uh, the Ravens looked... Or, um, the Titans looked awful, so on on the defensive side of the ball. So I think for now I'm gonna give it to Baltimore. Um, obviously, things this whole si th things this whole season kind of revolving around COVID really affect uh, certain rosters. Um, like if Derrick Henry wasn't playing, I would never pick Tennessee, and if Lamar wasn't playing, I would probably pick Tennessee. So yeah, but I'm going to give it to the Ravens. Um, I just trust Lamar, especially against that defense. I, I feel like their secondary is really where they struggle, though. So Lamar might be throwing, which is obviously not his, like, you know, not his forte, I would say, uh, compared to other quarterbacks, but I think he'll manage. Next game is Cleveland versus Pittsburgh. Um a rematch of the game that they just played. Um, and I'm going to go with Pittsburgh here. Um, honestly, the Browns could win. It's the third time they'll be playing each other this season. Um, obviously, they're both uh, in the same division. Um, but yeah, I mean, the Browns just didn't look amazing against a... Steelers team with half of the starters out and Mason Rudolph isn't bad but he's no like Ben Roethlisberger in terms of passing ability and in terms of like clutch situations so I would be inclined to go with Pittsburgh here um Browns are going to be running a lot uh, I think I mean I don't know that Pittsburgh uh, run defense was like it started much better than it is now um, but Pittsburgh have seemed to they, they dipped for like three games during the season and now they seem to be a little more back at it so um, just kind of after that Colts win um, and you can't really count like their loss over the weekend doesn't really mean much considering they didn't even start their full team so I think I'm going to give it to Pittsburgh it could be close um, it will depend on, uh, obviously how clutch and how much the Browns can deal with the playoffs. 
this is their first playoff game in like 18 years or something. Uh, so, yeah, we'll hope to, I mean, obviously I hope that, I, I, I would prefer the Browns to win just because, you know, of the lack of times that they're in the playoffs. But yeah, next we have uh, Indianapolis versus Buffalo. I think this is the easiest uh, matchup to pick. Um, the Colts being the seventh seed and the Bills being the second seed. I'm going with the Bills. Uh, the Bills are hot right now. Josh Allen's looking good. They looked really good in the Miami game. Granted, I think um, they got it going early, so I think after that it was kind of just the Dolphins were really having to grasp at anything, and that's what that's kind of where all the picks came from and all the turnovers. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know. I think the Colts are good, um, but I don't. I don't know how much I trust Philip River, Philip Rivers, uh, in terms of. I don't know against the Bills. Granted, the Bills like their their defense is good, but their offense is definitely better. Um, so I, it'll be interesting that high-powered Bills offense against uh, the Colts, who are, I would say, more of a defensive team. Uh, maybe things have changed throughout the season, but um, it, it should be interesting to see what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, I, I trust Buffalo. Next, we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers traveling to Washington to play the football team. I'm taking the Bucs. Um, I think most people will. Um, Obviously, Washington did win the NFC East title, but that doesn't really mean much considering their 7-9 and nine record. Um, they do have a good defense. Um, and uh, just very average, below average offense, <clears throat> depending on who's at QB. Um, Alex Smith, he looked decent throwing. He didn't look amazing in that... Um, in the Eagles game at all. Um, I think if they would have kept Jalen Hurts in, I think the Eagles could have came out on top there. It was really a, a coin flip. Um, but yeah, I think people are overhyping this Washington defense. And granted, Tom Brady hasn't been amazing against teams with good defenses this year, but I mean, it's Tom Brady and it's the playoffs. So uh, yeah, Brady and all the Bucks are eating up at the right time. Um, like the last few weeks have been insane in terms of the offense they've been able to create and the defense kind of stepping up a little more. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Uh, it might be a better game than I think, but um, yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty confident with the Bucks. Next, we have the Los Angeles Rams traveling to Seattle to play the Seahawks. I am taking my Seahawks. Um... And it'll be interesting. The big thing for the Rams is who are they going to start at quarterback? Obviously, Jared Goff um, being the normal starter, but he broke his thumb, I think, maybe his finger, in the Seattle game played two weeks ago. Um, so they started John Wolford, a quarterback from the AAF, I believe. Um, they started him against the Cardinals, and he made plays, and... You know, granted the defense held the Cardinals to seven points, but he, he did make some plays on offense. Um, so yeah, I, I have a feeling it'll be maybe a Drew Brees, Taysom Hill situation where, um, where they kind of maybe bring Wolford in for some specific plays and stuff, but I don't see them, uh, I don't know, I don't see them starting him. And Goff has looked not very great recently. Obviously, they had the loss to the Jets and then the loss to the Seahawks. Um, so, yeah, it'll be interesting. I'm sure there's a lot of quarterback politics going on right now. Uh, I personally, if I were the Rams, I would start Goff. Uh, I think, you know, I, I think it's going to come down more to the defense for the Rams anyways. If they can hold Seattle... Um, obviously, Seattle's offense hasn't looked so great recently. Their defense has kind of been the one shining. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, that Seahawks offense is, is miles better than that Rams offense. So um, I really think it'll be that matchup between the Seahawks offense and the Rams defense. 
And it was interesting in that 49ers game last week for the Seahawks because they were down until the fourth quarter and then it literally, it seemed seamless to just score touchdowns. Like, it seems as though Pete Carroll might be holding some play calling and some stuff for the playoffs. And I know the Seahawks have done that quite a bit in the past. Um, so I I don't think, personally, I don't think this is a good, this is not the matchup that the Rams want. And as a Seahawks fan, I don't even want a Rams matchup. Um, those NFC West games can always go either way. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Should be a good game. And finally, the last NFC West matchup is the Chicago Bears traveling to New Orleans to play the Saints. Um, the Bears obviously snuck into the playoffs by the Rams beating the Cardinals. So the Bears and the Cardinals had the same record. And then... Um, oh. Now, I guess we'll just leave... Oh, there we go. Um, uh, so they snuck in. They had the same record as the Cardinals, but beat the tiebreaker. So yeah, this should be an interesting game. I I don't want to annoy any Saints fans, but I am surprised they are the second seed. Um, Drew Brees is definitely not look. He's not looking his best. Um, you know, I mean, they played Carolina. I think they played the Vikings the weekend before or something. Um, so I wouldn't say that New Orleans is looking bad, but they're definitely not looking their best. Um, it'll depend on if Kamara's playing. I mean, I'm going to take the Saints here. Uh, purely because I don't think the Bears have enough to get it done, but they did give Green Bay a run for their money for most of that game. I mean, they kept it a one-possession game for a lot of it. Um, and they played Green Bay, who got the first seed, so... Um, <laughs> I think this game could be closer than it seems, considering Chicago's the seventh seed and the Saints are the second seed. Um, I think it could be closer than people think. Um, obviously, the, the Saints could blow them out, but I don't know. Uh, obviously, they're going to hope that Kamara's back for the Saints so they can run. Um, I haven't really followed that Saints defense so much. It, it, their defense was shining a lot more at the beginning of the season, and now it's kind of in the offense. Um, so I don't know how they'll, how they'll handle David Montgomery. He, he had a little bit of a game. Uh, some nice yards going against against the Packers, but uh, obviously that Packers run defense isn't, isn't great. Um, so we'll see. It should be interesting. But yeah, that is going to be it for the wild card round. Obviously, you got the Chiefs getting the bye in the AFC and the Packers getting the bye in the NFC. Um, but if you guys do want to see the next round after this, the divisional round, um, obviously, don't forget to hit that like button down below. Don't forget to comment. Uh, tell me what kind of matchups you got. Who do you have winning? Uh, what picks do you have different from mine? And tell me who you support as well. I'm curious. Um, and finally, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we are on our way to 1,250 subscribers. I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.